Hello, Scarf using Cross Watchers. Um, this is Amna from Soulmate Tarot, and today we are doing your mid monthlies from 15th to 31st of May 2019. Please keep in mind that these are general messages, they may or may not resonate with you. If they resonate with you, please like and subscribe to the channel. If they don't resonate with you, just let it go and um, check out some amazing tarot card readers out there on YouTube uh, who you can resonate with. Um, let's get started. Alright, uh, before we begin, um, I want to share the vision which we do um, every month. Um, I was tapping into your energy and I kept on for some reason <sighs> hearing the word power of three. Now, I, um, whether I believe in something or not, uh, that's totally different. But uh, the power of three is um, basically a term attached to um, a coven of three witches, I guess. I don't remember exactly. But um, they used to, uh, in the ancient times, I think, I don't remember. Like I said, I, I don't deal with this thing, this kind of thing, which perhaps up, and uh, so I don't know about this. Um, so um, they are like um, cutting it short, ancient times, witches, whatever they are. They were supposed to uh, collect um, debts from people um, and they would not stop at any cost um, until and they would and um, they um, they would do anything to um, I think I need to adjust the camera a bit, but okay so uh, they would not stop um, and they used her and I think um, you might be dealing with a situation right now um, in any situation in your love life uh, which is the situation uh, sorry which is the result of um, a karmic situation which happened to you and now I don't know your karma um, I don't know what you've been going through but uh, always keep this thing in mind that whatever goes around comes around if you have good karma attached to you then you have good things coming your way if you have done some bad shit in life that that has to be you know repaid but uh, the best part is it's a cycle which ends and I have a feeling for you it's ending okay then um, moving on um, It was a really shitty, magic -y stuff. Uh, anyways, I uh, I was uh, near a phone boat, uh, like you, uh, very ancient times, not ancient times, I think I remember uh, that kind of phone boat in Harry Potter or something. Yeah, that kind of phone boat. Uh, so, um... Not the regular phone booth, uh, but um, it was very um, specific kind of phone booth, and um, I was uh, I was trying to pick up the phone and I wasn't. Uh, I pick up uh, I picked up the phone. I dialed a number. And somebody picked up and I put the phone back down. Uh, I picked up the phone again, I dialed the same number, uh, before it, it could even ring, I put the phone down. And this happened to me like 9-10 times. Uh, 
moving into mid of May to the end of May, I think your pride, your ego, you'll, you'll probably be a little bit egoistic or arrogant in dealing with someone. Like you would want to reach out to someone but you wouldn't because your pride will come in the way you uh, because my pride was getting in the way it was not like i was afraid of talking to that person it was not like i was hesitant of what they'll say to me um nothing uh, like that but oh and we have this little guy over here because this in reverse is also like very proud greedy kind of person arrogant kind of personality um So, um, your pride might get in the way of communicating with the person uh, you might be connecting with, you might be in love with, or you're in a relationship with, um, you'll feel uh, being disconnected from them. You, you will feel that you are helpless, you cannot do anything to get rid of this situation. Um, but honestly speaking, uh, this is temporary and this is in your head. This is nothing else. This is this is your mind not letting you talk to that person. Um, this is not something which uh, you know. Uh, to some extent, the karma is playing its part, but also at the same time, it's um, sorry. Do that. Light is in the middle. Let's see when we place the cards. How to put it in the middle. But uh, karma is at play, um, uh, definitely karma is at play, but not everything is, you know, don't put the blame on karma of everything. Um, you are also at work, um, your greed, your arrogance, um, your pride, your ego is also at work. So uh, remember, um, karma is about what goes around. Uh, comes around so if you are being egoistic the other person might be as well so if you are just like i was hesitant to um, you know talk to the other person in the, my vision maybe the other person is hesitant in communicating with you as well seven minutes in oh my god let's just get into your reading scorpios from 15 to 31st of may 2019 scorpios you always take the most of my time yeah you want to six of wands in Page of Wands, Honest to God, that Six of Cups almost speak out. You're safe. The Fool card. Can you see all of them? Let's bring them down. Or we can take the camera back. Here we go. I need space here. Scorpius Oh! I'm not gonna take this and I'm gonna put it back because there were too many cars but it flew right off Ace of Wands
ten of wands, seven of pentacles. What are you going through, Scorpios? Mixed emotions. Oh my God! Uh, just what I thought would come back has risen from the dead. Six of Cups. I don't know. Just saying. If it's a good news or a bad news, that's totally up to you to decide. Honesty. If a card is supposed to come, it will appear again. And Six of Cups has appeared again. Nine of Wands. Definitely letting your guard down for an X. Scott appears. I was so trying to avoid you, Six of Cups. See how it plays. It could also mean that, you know, two pentacles in reverse. You picked up your option. This needs some clarification. We need to talk Scorpius. Mm. Will this be better? If I like... Alright, um, so starting from the mid of month, you are feeling a loss of friends, companions, you're feeling at loss, um, could be Get the clarify it could be an old love uh, person you're dealing with is not going well could be that situation as well but you're feeling at loss and because of that loss you're f um, losing a lot of friends as well because sometimes when breakups happen friends divide as well and uh, so let's get clarifiers later on um, and then see what this is about um, then um, the page of wands you have a good news coming towards you you have a good news coming towards you the mid of month you have a very good news coming towards you pages are bearers of good news and this page is bringing you good news um, the full card here it does not mean that um, if this good news is about the person you're dealing with or connecting with and they're like all in the relationship then you're willing to take a step forward I'm seeing that because we have an ace of wands next uh, which is a brand new beginning that's one scenario if it's a new job opportunity coming towards you then i see you switching jobs without even thinking twice and it's a brand new opportunity for you brand new beginning for you also for some of you this could also be in the current relationship you have with the person um that person was not making you feel really good about yourself so they try to cheer you up with some good news 
I don't know what sort of good news is going to cheer you up, um, but um, some sort of good news. And oh God, I, I don't want to say that, but usually this kind of a kind of good news which makes you take a step forward. Fool card is also about taking risks, so that's why it's attached to career. Um, and if new opportunity is coming, you are taking to willing to take the risk. Um, in the current relationship, uh, if the person is, you know, um, was giving you a hard time, and now they are finally coming to their senses, um, you're like not taking a leap of faith. I don't see you taking a leap of faith. You're willing to let go of this. I see you letting go of this one, and I see you moving forward. Uh, I don't see you taking a leap of faith, honestly speaking. I see you moving forward, um, making a brand new beginning, keeping in mind that, okay, I'm forgetting the past, I'm forgetting the past, I'm just moving forward, I'm going to think about the future, I'm not going to think about the past. Fool is not about always taking a leap of faith. But somehow, in the center of your reading, you're feeling burdened, um good thing beauty of ten of wands is that the castle is near and in the near future you can put those wands down and rest and start all over again but you're burdened somehow and it's in the center of your reading something is troubling you i don't know what um again with the clarifiers I'll be able to clarify more whether it, it's this relationship which is troubling you you're willing to move forward with this person but again um, the moment you start a new beginning you're like no I am not feeling myself again I need to be like I used to feel before um, it's not the same feeling and I see you being patient you're like I put in a lot of effort in this relationship I've put in a lot of hard work in my life I'm not giving up I, I'm waiting patiently here I'm waiting patiently here nothing can change that this is troubling me honestly this is troubling me I'm gonna freeze you for a second. Okay, now the setup is okay. Because the light and everything was dropping me. You're patient and there is a reconciliation happening. Why reconciliation? Because this could also be just memories, having, um, reminiscing about good old memories, good old friends. Uh, why did I say reconciliation? Because I see you letting your guard down. And you don't let your guard down for anybody except for the person you love. Could be an ex. Let's see. And you're not juggling anymore. The two of pentacles in reverse, you've made, your, made up your mind. Um, you've been topsy turvy throughout. You've been going on a very, very rocky road. In the, uh, You've been on a very rocky ro road during these 15 days. And end of month, you finally decide which direction you want to go to which direction is the home let's get some card what is the six of wands in reverse doing here what is the six of wands in reverse doing here Oh yeah, Knight of Wands. So yes, this is about somebody who came into your life very, very quickly. 
This is my Playboy Playgirl card. Somebody who is not given up on old ways. Probably that's why you're feeling defeated. Like they are in relationship with you or they are in love with you but at the same time they are not giving up on old ways. They are like their old self. They are offering you their love but at the same time they are offering it to multiple other people. Um, they see a woman and they just are, are a guy and they just or vice versa it could be anything um, like in terms of gender I mean. What is this page of wands doing here? Page of wands is clarified by the heartbreak. Honestly, you think that it's good news that the person is the you know wants to go. That's typical Scorpio. Kinky shit. So you're not really happy with this person and their acts. Yeah, definitely, um, Scorpio. Scorpios are very possessive and they're very fixed possessive sign and they don't they don't deal with this thing they don't deal with this I haven't asked my question yet so no um, so maybe when either they break up with you or you break up with them you're like good gosh that's that's a relief that's, a, that's some good news I was waiting for. That's why you're taking this leap of faith. That's why you're moving forward. And the brand new beginning. Yeah, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. What is this little card doing here? Scorpius, you amaze me. But heal yourself from this. I always say this, accept this and heal this. Just accept this and it will start healing this. That's what we are doing here. Queen of Wands and Eight of Cups. Yes, it's definitely you walking away from that person. Yes, it's definitely you breaking up with that person and you thinking of it as a good news and at the same time it's because this could be a new offer uh, because you have new beginning here but this could also be because of their personality issues Queen of Wands is a very strong personality Queen of Wands has very, very strong personality. So it could be any of the two scenarios that you are walking away from that person. Either because of their personality or because you have another offer. In both situations, you have a brand new beginning. What is this Ace of Wands doing? Let's clarify what it is back. What is this Ace of Wands doing? Knight of Cups. So you're dealing with the Pisces. Aries, Pisces. Could be any of sign. It's amazing you had no emotions in your reading of the sex. Yeah, it's um, 
that it's a new offer which you accepted as a brand new beginning somebody who crossed paths with you they're not just um, that leap of faith I'm still not calling it the full card a leap of faith this is you walking away with this person Queen of Wands and you offering them a rebound rebound beginning I'm gonna, I'm gonna name this rebound beginning I'm gonna note that down Taking up your time. This is this is awesome. But you're Scorpio. You don't need temporary relationships. You don't like temporary relationships. That's why you're feeling burdened. You are in a rebound, but you're burdened. Yeah, what is this ten of wands playing here? Or maybe you're still not in, you know, settled in with this person. That's what is troubling you. You're like, all right, it's something new, but I'm not ready yet. I'm still waiting. I still have burdens of my past. What is this ten of wands playing here? Ten of Wands is um, clarified by the classic and the classic. Yeah, you're burdened by your old love. You're like, no, I still have um, deep down some past regrets. Uh, from love so I'm not really that comfortable with the new offer I don't know what to do about it and that's why you're being patient but still enjoying your time that's stinky What is the Seven of Pentacles doing here? This one wants to pop out. Oh God. Oh ho 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 ho. What are the odds? You're waiting patiently for the Six of Cups. You're waiting patiently for an ex to come back. I don't see this ex. I see someone from your past, someone you had a lot of love for, someone way before this happened, this happened. Oh my god, you have six of cups twice in the reading. NX is definitely coming back. The six of cups in doing here. What is the Six of Cups doing here? What is the Six of Cups doing here? Oh no, these are too many. We cannot take place. Sorry. Pause now. What is the Six of Cups doing here? This cards, please. We don't need the whole deck clarifying the Six of Cups. We know what is it about. Six of Cups doing here. Hmm. <laughs> Things flipped. Things flipped. And I'm going to pull them down one by one.
so you manifested this ex Scorpius I remember I did um, uh, I think your um, first to the 15th of May and um, your manifestation was on point oh my god so you manifested you conjured this X back into your life a clue is that about this X is that in the previous whenever you were in a relationship with this person um, you were facing a lot of adversities and you were alone you were feeling alone and probably this time you'll make things right but you definitely manifested the sex patience the key to manifesting anything in life and that's how you manifested it this is like me doing your first to 15th of may my month bi-monthly all over again what is this nine of wands doing here you're manifesting a lot of relationships um so yeah you were facing a lot of uh, nine of wands is clarified by ten of swords in reverse and the hierophant is in reverse the previous card i gave you a clue that this x uh, clue about this x is that this x could have come up with a lot of controversial situations like they might not be and they might be in controversial situations where you help them or um, probably the relationship was in on rocky roads and you had to deal with um, different kind of situations alone that's why it ended um, this time you're letting your guard down and be because you you were alone fighting for all the battles you were feeling hurt you were feeling hurt from inside and they were like misconceptions misconceptions and which led to this to the end of this relationship and stabbed you in the back but this time you're letting your guard down for this person you're like I'm not letting this person flip this time. You came back after I did my hard work. Very intuitive month for you, Scorpios. What is this? Four Pentacles anniversary? Oh, and you have made your mind as well. You're not juggling offers. Probably this one is gone. After this came in, and this came in. Two of Pentacles in reverse doing here. And the star card. Wish fulfillment. Something you wished for. Your wish, my command. Yes, you're def definitely getting back together with this sex. Something you manifested in your life. Something you manifested with your patience in life. You work really hard for this one. See, Seven of Pentacles, X. Seven of Pentacles, X. Perfect combination for Law of Attraction, if you ask me. Anyways, um... 34 minutes uh, I'll see you guys around next month probably, nah. probably sooner <laughs> but for another type of reading but um, when monthly is next month bye Scorpius best of luck